Hey there, my friends. How you doing? It's Chris and Gia here from chrisandgia.com. Back again with you with another very exciting episode today. So real quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about, hey, the 500 internal server error, how to fix a YouTube video that's not working on your funnel system, all right? So, real quick, if you don't know me, I'm all, my name is Chris. I'm all about empowering entrepreneurs to be more, create more, and make more online, all right? And make more results. So, let me, let's get right down into it, okay? Because this is an issue that I came with. So, essentially, what I'm talking about is you, let's say you're using a funnel system to build a funnel, right? Uh, for your online marketing campaign to generate leads. You, have, you want to use videos. Obviously, you can use YouTube as a way to host your videos, right? So you create your video, you use YouTube to host it, you go to your funnel system, whatever it may be, it can be lead pages, it can be click funnels, it can be funnelizer, whichever one you use. And when you're trying to save the video in the system, it gives you a 500 internal server error. So for example, let me show you. So this is my YouTube channel here. I'm going to show you here. So this is uh, funnelizer. So I use funnelizer as my lead generating funnel system. So whatever I want to create a have a you create a funnel and use certain videos, what I would do then is I would go up here to settings and I'd go to media and I click there and it brings up all my media, all my images and videos. I'd come here where it says videos and these are all my videos that I have some mostly from YouTube. I would come here to add a new video, right? So for example, let me go back to my YouTube channel, let's say I wanted to use this video, right? So this was a video I created for my funnels as a thank you, thank you video. So I'd go here, go to info and settings, and it brings up the video in detail. And what I want is this right here, right? This URL. So what I would do is I'll right click, copy it, right? And then come back to here to my to my media and I will add a new video. Right? So in this example, I'm just gonna call it test one and I'm going to right click and paste my video now when I click save video it brings up this error 500 internal server error right right so you're like you're like what is going on so essentially what is a 500 internal server error essentially what it means is that there is a problem with the communication between the, the where the video is being hosted in this case YouTube and the ability for your funnel system in this case funnelizer to access that information right so there's something wrong generally 500 is a very general term it's a very general error code and it can mean a dozen bajillion different things right and so it's really really difficult to pinpoint what it is a lot of the times it's on the server side in which case then there's really not much you can do. All you can do is email them to let them know, hey, there's a problem. But mo a lot of times it can also be on your end of it too and trying to figure out what the problem is. So real quick, I'm gonna give you a few fixes that you can use, all right? So fix one is you can clear the cache and clear the internet cache and clear the cookies in your browser. So I'm using Google Chrome right now. What I would do, what you could do is go up here in this corner, you click this right here, you go to settings, right? Click on settings, it brings up a new new deal, right? And then you're gonna scroll down and what you're gonna do is click on advanced, click on advanced and you scroll down even further and you're going to see, well actually, it looks like I passed it up, here it is. It's gonna say clear browsing data, okay? So clear history, cookies, cache and more. So you click on this, and it's gonna bring you this, and you can choose to pick download history, cookies, and other sites, and cache images, and what you're gonna do is clear that data, all right? If you're using another browser, then, you know, just Google it. <laughs> Google it, Firefox, whatever one you're doing, it's pretty simple, just like that. Then you would close out the browser, close out the browser, and then restart it again, and then try to see if that works. Now, when I did that, did it work for me? No. <laughs> so I had to go to the next one. So the next next step step two is you can use a different browser so you can use a different browser so use firefox internet explorer and try to access your funnel system from there and see if it works did that work for me mm, no <laughs> it didn't so i couldn't do that in fact i tried using another computer as well it didn't work but step three did work for me what was that well essentially what you do is is this 
you go back to your front to your YouTube channel and I go back to my videos and essentially all you do is you click on that video that you have and here so here's the video and you click on here where it says little arrow it says edit and you can go and delete this video all right and so what you do is you delete this video click here it says permanently delete this you can't undo this yes I know and delete all right so now this video is deleted what do you do did you re-upload that video okay so I'm not gonna take the time to do that now but I did do that for a previous video that was giving me the same issue this video right here right and it was just an offer that I, video offer that I did so I come here click info and settings and what happens is you grab the URL here as you as before, copy it. So this video was giving me the same issue as before as earlier, as you saw earlier with the same 500 internal server error. So I deleted the video, re-uploaded it. That was the new video that was uploaded. We just copied the URL for that video. I'm gonna come here to add new video and basically the same thing. I'm gonna do a test, test two, and then we're going to right click and paste that you are here right and then when you say video all of a sudden the media video test 2 has been saved all right it works it works so for whatever reason that first initial download or first initial upload rather didn't take i don't know why i can't explain it to you it didn't take so what you would have to do is which most likely will fix it is delete that video and re-upload it into your into your YouTube channel all right and that most likely will fix it for you now the only drawback is if this is a video that you've taken the time to rank and you got to rank for particular keywords for, that you got going on then that's probably gonna suck right because you're gonna lose all your rankings and all the work on that video but more than more than likely the good news is more than likely if you're using it for a funnel you're not using a video for a funnel like that for an offer that you're doing. It's usually going to be a video that you don't even want people to see, to be honest, right? And so that's not a video that you're going to be trying to rank anyway. So it shouldn't be a problem. So in essence, this fix should work for you. So hopefully it does. All right. Hopefully this was helpful and it solved that problem. I couldn't find an answer for this anywhere on YouTube or Google. So hopefully this helps for you and you don't have to suffer like I did. All right. <laughs> so hopefully that was helpful for you. If you did, definitely give the video a like. All right. Definitely subscribe to the channel so you get more of this stuff. And oh, by the way, I do have a, I'm just working on a thing I like to call my social academy. It is a five day challenge. All right. Five day challenge where you get to learn various online marketing and social media marketing skills and so it's a free challenge five days you're very welcome to get to, to, to register for that and that's something you want to be a part of then definitely click the link in the video all right i'll take you to the page and you can get started on that and join us on the challenge all right so that's it my friend till next time be blessed stay hungry out there bye now